Hello there and welcome. Today we're adding RO to my fish house. This is a big deal. From this point onwards, we can start adding tanks and getting systems running. So this is a finer filters, 100 gallon a day, four stage RO unit. We've got pre-filter carbon, RO membrane and RO DI, uh, including all of the fittings straight out of the box. So we can really get this up and running within maybe half an hour. Uh, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So just so you know what we're doing, our water source is here, and we're gonna be using those metallic fittings to come off this 15 millimeter pipe. Uh, we're gonna be going along making it look nice and neat and then we're going to actually fit the unit up here because we've got our sump and our waste outlet there so essentially we've got quite a long way to go with all the piping but luckily we're supplied with quite a lot of bits and pieces to get this unit up and going. So here are the names of all the parts uh, we're gonna be using. The reason I'm giving you the names is because some RA filters don't actually come with these parts. And things like this John Guest fitting, it's really hard to know the name if you wanted to order one. Luckily in this RA unit, we get all the bits we need. But if you're wondering what they're called, there are the names. And these are the parts that we're gonna be using. So this is the John Guest. On the book, it says it's white, but we've got a black one. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, and then we've got all these metal fittings here and we're putting it onto this 15 mil mains pipe so i fitted and tested the ro fittings here it's all connected up to my um, 15 mil pipe now this is a bit backwards normally you'd have this valve below actually sort of before the tap and that will allow you to shut off the pressure and that would allow you to remove the whole system should you want to i've actually done it the other way around um, because this is where I wanted the tap to be and if I had the valve there um, the tap would have been on this side it's just the way it all fitted together so that's why I've done that but it's not really a problem because I've got a stop cock down there anyway so if I want to turn the flow off to um, the RO or to the actual tap here I'm going to be using that stop cock not this pressure valve so I'm just using it as a connection fitting really rather than uh, what it's supposed to be but you can see here here's my little tap and when I do this the water goes through my pipe system, which I've got connected up all the way across my wall. And you can see from there, we go up and into the RO unit. So I did have some spare red pipe from my last RO unit, which is the same brand as this, the Fino Filters. So luckily it matches and that allows me to have the same color, but normally it's not this long. And you can see we go up into the RO filter and it goes through the uh, two pre-filter stages through the membrane through the di section the blue pipe is the output so at the moment i've just got that running into the waste and then the black pipe is the waste so this is all the rubbish that's left over um, after that goes through the filter and this will have all the impurities that we're getting rid of and that goes straight down the waste now before you get an ro filter running properly you have to flush it and you have to do that in two stages so firstly you flush the pre-filter and the carbon without the RO membrane in place and that's to get out any dust and stuff that's in the filters the carbon can be quite dusty so we do that so it doesn't block up the membrane and then you do another flush with the membrane in place uh, and then after that what I like to do is run it for a good 24 hours and that's what I've been doing I've been running it straight into the waste and then we're ready for proper RO to be used so that video was just to uh, let you know how I'm getting with my shed Obviously, you can see now we are ready to roll. We've got water, we've got waste. The next stage of this build will be to actually be adding tanks. The first set of tanks I'm gonna be adding will be in this section here. It's gonna be a four foot tank with a, another four foot tank on top. Uh, and that's gonna be my main sort of green macroalgae growing powerhouse. Um, once that's in, then I'm able to then put my racking over here. Uh, which will be my mixed macroalgae system. And this whole back wall area is going to be for growing macroalgae. So very exciting. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Please leave a like or subscribe if you haven't done so already. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.